Poison ivy, what you been waiting for? <laughs> right down here, this is Toxicodendron radicans. Toxicodendron radicans is our poison ivy. Um, it is a native, yes, <laughs> it is a native. It's hardy zones four to 10, and it's in the Anacardiaceae family again. So we've had that one several times, the Cotinus, the, uh, yeah, the Cotinus, I guess. Sorry, maybe not several times, but the Cotinus. Anacardiaceae, yellow pith. Well, let's go in there and look for the pith. No, not touching it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a deciduous climbing vine. It also runs all along the ground. So like the Parthenocystis, you'll see it running along the ground or you'll see it climbing. Now this is on the ground, but it can actually climb up trees. And I've seen it up a pine tree and you look up and you think it's the leaves of the tree. It comes off on these big stems and hangs like the leaves on the tree. And then you look further up, you're like, wait, that's a pine tree. What's that overall? That's poison ivy, okay? So be careful. It will climb, it will make huge masses, and it will run along the ground. Now, it prefers a partially shady, low moist site. So we usually see it in partial shade, low moist. Be aware, poison oak is very similar. Toxicodendron diversifolium. Poison oak is more of a west coast, more of a sandy, well-drained soil plant. So sun, sandy, you often run into poison oak. It's more of an upright shrub, three to five feet. So poison oak gets to be shrubby and is more drier climates. Poison ivy is a vine and it's gonna be more low moist site. So often in tandem with the Parthenocystis, the Virginia creeper we talked about. So what we look for on poison ivy, three leaves. Trifoliate, leaves of three, one, two, three. I'm not gonna touch them, one, two, three. Leaves of three, let it be. You know, they're leaflets, but that's the rhyme. Leaves of five, let it thrive, okay? So leaves of three, again, will run across the ground. Now, when they're young, they often lobe, and we're seeing that here. You're seeing lobing on some of these leaves. That's young. As it gets older, the leaves or the leaflets will be entire. So three leaflets, lobe when young, entire with age. They can often have some reddish new growth and you can see that there. Um, and they also have a great red fall color. And a lot of times people think they're really pretty. They used to send them in before we had computers and could take pictures and send you stuff on email. You get sent a little packet, ID this plant and it's a gorgeous red fall color and you open it up. <laughs> and somebody sent you poison ivy. <laughs> okay, happens. So <laughs> lucky, I guess, for pictures. Now we don't have to do that. But um, great red fall color. They actually have a little white flower, kind of insignificant in the spring. And then in the fall, you get a little bluish kind of color, blue black fruit. Birds love the fruit, birds eat it, birds drop it everywhere. We see it all over. But again, most common in low moist, running along the ground or climbing up a tree. Um, everybody knows it's a dermal irritant. Uh, it can make, some people have it, some people don't. You can be immune, but you can lose your immunity at any time, so you can get it. Uh, one of our retired professors used to tell a story. Uh, they were boating, uh, they were fishing, him and his dad, and it started raining, and they ran under a tree to get out of the rain. And all of a sudden, they looked up and realized the tree was a different tree, and it was actually poison ivy. And it was raining down off the poison ivy, and it actually streaked him with poison ivy. So be aware of your surroundings is the moral of the story. And be careful of poison ivy. The other thing that's bad, it will grow on trees. It has hairy roots and that's important because it's deciduous. When you see it in the winter, it'll have hairy, hairy roots. You'll see these hairy roots going up a tree. <coughs> Excuse me. That's poison ivy. Don't touch it. It can still be irritant, toxic, whatever with the hairs. What happens a lot of times, people will cut down the tree. They'll burn it. Don't burn a tree with poison ivy roots or poison ivy anything on it. It will be inhaled. It can get in your lungs and it can actually get in your bloodstream and kill you. So careful on burning it. Again, be aware of your surroundings and know what you're doing. Toxicodendron radicans, poison ivy.